the chat. Hello. Uh, thanks for the speak tonight. Uh, my name is Dave Brown. It's my wife, Judy. Uh, we are currently the uh, head girls tennis coach here at Kane High School. Uh, Judy's the varsity assistant head JV coach. I have coached for 44 years at high school level, 31 as a head coach, coached in 1,090 high school contests. Won 667, lost 423 1A conference titles, took 22 teams to the state tournament. Spent 12 years on the OSAA Boys Tennis Seating Committee meetings, helped run the state tournament, won eight Coach of the Year awards, won National Coach of the Year award. And I only say all that because I want you to know I've invested heavily in the sports and athletics in the state of Oregon. It's been the pleasure of my life to be a coach. It's been one of the most rewarding things I've ever gotten to do. The last four years at Candy, I've switched from boys basketball, boys tennis, to girls tennis at Candy High School. We have met students, parents, staff, and community members. Some will be friends for a lifetime. It's been so rewarding. Some of the, the kids that are in this room tonight have coached, some of your kids have coached. Mm -hmm. It's been an absolute pleasure. We've enjoyed our time at Candy. When I talk about the next step, though, I've been in your shoes. I've been on a school board. I know what it's like. I spent 20 years working in public schools. My wife spent 34 years working in public schools. I know that you can't do a lot. I know that you're handcuffed when you work in public schools. You can't say a lot. Because ODE and OSA, you just can't. People don't agree with all the, the things that pop up in high school and athletics, and you can't say anything. Because if you do, you probably won't get that promotion. You probably won't be treated very well at school. That's a fact. It's a can be. It's an everywhere else. And you have to recognize the fact that there are a lot of staff members that don't agree with everything that ODE and OSA puts down. They just don't. And that's okay. We have our different perspectives. So when OSA mandates testing, every year we have to take tests. We have to take concussion protocol, heat exhaustion. Um, first aid, sex abuse. These tests are given to us every year and they're kind of mundane, but I really agree with them because I've had these all minor, mid-level, serious injuries, and it comes in handy when you really know what to do at that point before you can turn them on to a doctor, you know, our, our, our staff, uh, you know, trainer, things like that. Coaches are put in that situation. So I agree with the test, but also they also is allowing at this particular time, and it's happening right now, boys to play girls sports. Now a lot of people will say, well, we're transitioning. I say no. This that period of time takes a long time. We have boys playing against girls in sports in Oregon. And it's happening in different places in the country. Now the problem with this right now, is that my time? My point is is that I can no longer condone OSA. And I've been a member of this for the last half of my life. It's wrong what we're doing. It's your job as a school board it, it, to protect every single girl, K-12, in the school district. Not just the boy that's transitioning, but every single girl is impacted by this. Every single girl deserves what Title IX originally was going to give them. Every girl that I've coached here, we've had over 40, 45 girls every year play tennis at Kennedy High School. Every one of them deserves the truth. And we're not telling them the truth by what we're doing. Now, I know you're stuck. You're stuck by the ODE and you're stuck by OSAA. I know you have to follow the rules. But somebody has to have the courage to stand up. And I'm going to say here tonight and say, I will not coach anymore for OSAA because of what they stand for. I've loved my time at Candy. We've loved our time here. But tomorrow I'll call Athletic Director of Jeremy and tell him I'm going to resign from Candy. But I can no longer support such an awful thing we're doing to girls and girls' sports. There should be only girls playing girls sports. If somebody's transitioning, there has to be another way for us today to dictate this. And boys should play boys sports, girls should play girls sports. I'd like to thank Candy so much. It's been a great place. I appreciate some of the stuff you do. I've coached some of your kids. The people who've met at Candy are fantastic. I've walked down your hallways. It's been a good experience. Thank you so much for letting us be here. Proud to wear the Candy sweatshirt. But as the leadership of this community, it, it stops with you. It has to stop with you. You have to protect your coaches. And nobody's done that for, for me, and you're not going to do other coaches. But more important, they're stuck because you've got you to protect these girls. 
These girls need somebody to step forward, step up. Mr. Downs, you're the superintendent, but he has to comply. I get it. I've worked with our superintendent's board chair for years. I get it. So he can't switch it. The administrators can't switch it. You have to do it. As a school board, you have to do the right thing. You, some of you have girls. I know you do. And these girls are counting on somebody to step up and stand up and do the right thing. And so whether it stops and can be, or other school districts have the courage. Because leadership's not always easy. Leadership's not always soft. Leadership's not always, well, if we do it this way, we'll be popular. <coughs> Leadership demands sometimes making a really tough decision. And the tough decision is protecting the kids. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.